special meeting of the Rockport Select Board to order for Thursday, March 24th here at the Opera House, and we are being live streamed at livestream.com slash Rockport, Maine, all spelled out. Uh, the purpose of the meeting tonight is to receive the report from the Ad Hoc Library Planning Committee, and we have the chair of that committee, Mr. Jan Rosenbaum, to make his comments, and if you would, please. I gave everybody the night off since they had been done so much work. Oh, so, we so which is why I'm the only, not new, no, the oh, committee. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and you unfortunately have call over Tracy's attendance, so. Um, I have a report, I'm going to read a page or so. I'll give it to Linda for the official record, um, and then I'll be happy to take any questions that you have. Um, the Ad Hoc Library Planning Committee recommends that the Select Board engage Reed and Company Architecture of Portland to design and construct a library and adjacent park using the existing library site at 1 Lime Rock Street and the adjacent Memorial Park. Our decision is based on the consideration of many factors after first reviewing RFQ submissions, that is, requests for qualification submissions from 11 architectural firms and then selecting six firms and giving them a month to prepare their presentations of conceptual designs, site designs, and building placement possibilities. The criteria we use to choose a firm only peripherally involved what a building might look like, but rather concentrated on things like library and public building design experience, thoughtful inclusive approach, sensitivity to the site and surrounding community, ease of communication, imagination, overall ability in design and construction management, <coughs> quality of consultants and in-house personnel. Each of us used his or her own judgment. I think we had minimal conversation with one another during the week we took to think and then rank the firms. Two firms split all the first place votes with Reed getting 75% on the first ballot. Those committee members who did not rank Reed first ranked them second and were comfortable with the group's decision. So while not actually unanimous, I consider our decision to be one of consensus. All parts of the process have been open to the public. Most have been archived. The six presentations remain available to view at www.livestream.com slash rockportme, all one word. Uh, Rockport, M-A-I-N-E. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, obviously you would be sure. Rockport, M-A-I-N-E. Um, I encourage all residents to view the six presentations. We would like to thank John Schultz for his endless, endless knowledge and measured advice, his constant availability and good humor. I personally recommend to the board and the library committee that the role of the AHLPC be re-examined now to be certain we all agree on how to move forward. Our assumption is that we will work with Reed and Company to develop a firm concept, design, and cost estimates before the select board has to write a warrant article for the November ballot. At that time, a new building committee should be started and authorized to continue through the final move-in date, including coordination with the fundraising committee. However, the board may instead opt to choose a building committee immediately. How to proceed is up to the two elected boards. The AHLPC has learned a great many things during our work and will continue even more to continue to learn even more in the coming few months. I know that there are many people on the committee who would like to continue with the library design build process. Please consider us when you decide, whatever you decide. Are there any questions? I will open this well, to question. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I look at you. <laughs> it's the wrong one to ask. Yes. Yeah. It's easier looking this way than that. Owen? Anyway, wow, look at that haircut. <laughs> yeah, right? You, mm -hmm. There's a story Sorry. that goes with it. I'm that's sure. For a later time. Yeah, um, your question. I, I'm not going to lie. I've been overwhelmed with other town things. I sure. was not able to give uh, the live stream the needed kind of viewership um, can you just kind of encapsulate I got a little bit of a feel about what impressed you all about Reed and company can you give me just the brief overview of, of 
the but, high points. Of course. Uh, the highest of the high points, I think, has to go to their previous experience. They've designed um, new or uh, renovated about 30 libraries in the state of the Maine. They are by far the most experienced. When we talked to them, when we read their submissions, when we listened to their presentation, it was clear, as um, our library director, Ben Blackman, said, they speak library. They understand the workflow that they had set out, regardless of what the building envelope is, was shown to be, or will be. They do understand what it takes to run a library behind the scenes and how patrons use a library. Uh, in front of the scenes, as it were. Um, their um, understanding of the role of the park in, in the town, their opinions about how the memorials could be made into a, a less arbitrary seeming, more reverent sort of um, situation, um, and at the same time, um, make the park more usable. I know, I walk by there frequently, and very few people actually use the park. There are no paths. There are the, the benches are simply around the edges. And I've always thought that it doesn't really function like a park. It just functions like a, like a raw green space. Um, and I think that they're interested. They're, they're, libra they're library consultants. They're, they're, their knowledge of libraries is strong. Their landscape architecture firm is strong. Their ability to talk to them is good. Um, and so they seem to be people that we could have an equal partnership with. That is, they would listen, but at the same time, they, they would know when to back their knowledge over our knowledge. So concisely, if that's concisely, that's it. Can I do a super quick follow? -up? Um, two things, one, a comment and then a question. The comment was about the memorials, specifically the monuments, and I... I wasn't a big fan about moving them at all, mm -hmm. but just briefly glossing over, it seemed like they did, like you said, added an additional kind of reverence to them, which was nice it, to see. It took me years to realize there were three. Yep. And so um, a, number of, a number of the firms said um, they just look like they've been dropped, and so let's, let's organize them in some way where they can relate to one another and they can let people vibrate off of one another. And then the question was, and I think it's really important and I'm sure they gave you a satisfactory answer, um, as far as public engagement and having and soliciting public input, did they have a similar structure to what the, I watched one of them and the structure was kind of, we propose an idea, we go through the town, people provide input, we take that input, we reorganize what we did, we then again present it to the public, again solicit input. So what, what is their kind of public input Theirs plan? would be roughly the same. Okay. They're very much engaged with the public. They provide materials for groups to raise funds with. They understand the stop and start of dealing with nonprofits while money gets raised. They're not adverse to that. Um, uh, they're very conscious that these are central community buildings that need to be paid attention to. I foresee no problem with that. Everybody that we talked to as their references said they were very engaged uh, in that process, as, as we will be. We are bound and determined to be extremely transparent and extremely um, in your face about what we're doing and asking uh, a, a commentary. Um, now that that said, um, we are under the under the restrictions that we that we are looking at what the library committee came up with as a space needs program needs document. But how it happens, what the flow is, what's emphasized, how, what things might change here and there, it's all yet to be determined. We have not bought a building. We are hiring a, a firm, and whatever you saw in the presentations for building, <coughs> you know, it's just an in, one in, one possibility among among many possibilities. Yeah, great. Nobody will be left out. Thank you. Yeah, uh, before before I move over to you, I'm just, I'm going to move over to you. Okay. I I should have said this earlier. I really have been impressed by the process that 
the planning committee has gone through and the dedication Me too. that they have had <laughs> to, I, I, they meet a whole lot more than we do. And they aren't getting the big box, you know. No, no, no. I, and I'm, I'm, I don't who, mean who that is? sarcastically, <laughs> but I mean you really the work that they have put in has yes. been exemplary, yes. and we really owe them a true, deep, heartfelt thank you. It's, I will, for pa what I will they pass have it along. Done. I will pass and, it along. I agree with you totally. It's and I know they went through people. a lot of a lot of deep concentration and. and thought on coming yes. up with this proposal i right. really want to thank and more to, and 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 more to come we feel that we've turned a corner but we're not we're not done but it is time for the select board and the library committee i think this is a personal note um we've done the big piece of what you've asked us to do assuming that you agree with our recommendation um, but this is not a time to um lay fallow Mm -hmm. It's a time to keep on, and the question is, um, who should keep on, and what should they keep on, keep it on? No. I totally agree with you. Yes. So, um, okay, I'm going to go first to Ken, and then to Jeff. Uh, first, second, the thoughts of the chair, and thanking the committee for all their hard work. Like Owen, I I just haven't had a chance to to view most of the presentations yet, but I'm going to. Okay. And, uh, the reports that I've heard from people who've been there have said how good the process was, yes. and that the presentations were extremely useful uh happy to hear that the uh, the recommendation was as you say while not unanimous nearly a consensus and one that everyone can live with one question about you mentioned that they had built libraries in over 30 communities in yes. maine um how do the, how do those communities stack up in size relative to rockport it's a whole it's a whole variety okay. it's a whole range from from uh, from much larger to much well not much smaller but but smaller or or, or our size libraries, uh, but they they struck us both in their materials and in the conversation, as certainly not um, a pre-programmed here's what you need we'll just blow it up or shrink it down, um, but rather that. Um, different communities have different needs and wants. They have other different kinds of other facilities. Some communities have community centers, some don't. We have an opera house, which means a different set of criteria for what we're going to put into the library. Um, our grounds are different than, than a brownfield or cleanfield site um, or a restoration of an existing building. So I, I think that they are um, flexible they're knowledgeable, but also, but they're not wedded into a systematic way of here it is, here it is, here it is. If I can, I follow up on that just a little bit. Just, I don't know if you remember uh, when we were selecting the the firm to do the construction, um, the, the construction analysis oh, on yeah. the building. Um, I interviewed them for that process, and and they were they blew me away when I did the interview and there was a team of us that interviewed them and I we did not select them and I don't remember if you remember I don't know if you remember this but I did not select them because I thought that they would be a finalist they they had a lot of the feet the the um, characteristics we needed for an architect mm -hmm. um, for us to uh, build a library the 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 sensitivity to the surrounding you know the surrounding environment the use of existing um, the the use of an existing building if it's if if it's needed there was a lot of things that they were saying about how they work within the community that that I thought that's going to be really important to us going forward so we used uh, CES who isn't an architectural firm they do just do structural and environmental engineering stuff with the hope that when we would get to the point we are at, at now and that they would be a finalist um, because there is, there's a few, you know, there's Reed and Company and, and um, uh, who, who did the other study? Uh, Simon, Scott Simons? Scott Simons. Oh, the earlier one, one yes. Yeah, they, the, 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 <coughs> they do most of the libraries in the state. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. they, you know, they, they did, did, did not disappoint me at all. I, I felt that they went above and beyond what my expectations were on, of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pursuant to Owen's question about um, community involvement, what have you, at the 
committee and tell me if I'm wrong here, but there was some some shorthand at the presentations that that was indicative of longer conversations in the in the RFQ, I, I presume, but that um, uh, Reed had heralded and and brought a community brought Cape Elizabeth through some very difficult uh, transitions of of whatever nature, but they had apparently voted down a library once or more times, and that uh, Reed was um, uh, was able in the end to marshal their forces, have the uh, the, the wisdom and the, uh, uh, the guidance to allow Cape Elizabeth to come to a decision and then they go ahead and, and build a library. So that um, is true. That that yeah. seemed to, in my notes, in terms of what people were, were responding to in the decision making meeting, uh, and I was sitting back and back <laughs> helping with <laughs> hindering the uh, the video guys. But um, for all the all the other meetings, that played well to the committee mm -hmm. that, that ability and the history to, right. to be able to point to it in in because uh, we've only voted it down once there you go well, so it should be smooth sailing from here on out yeah. <clears throat> um i think that the all six firms regardless of what they showed for drawings showed a considerable amount of awareness of the physical situation of the library versus the, the park and the history and that we will be able to um, ameliorate the worries of a lot of people who had been very concerned about what might happen you know if you don't know anything then then there's ghosts in the closet um, and so I've talked to several people since the presentations, since the decisions, um, who have said, good, it looks like um, things will be good and, and that the town can unify behind whatever it is that they come up with that the big issues are, 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 are not going to remain big issues for very long. And that's, and that's good. Now, are there fights to come? Absolutely. Is there a clock tower or no clock tower or a couple or no couple? Of? Sure. Uh, but we'll weather those uh, much easier than, than, than what's been threatened in, in the past in terms of, of um, unhappiness in the town. Yeah. Yeah, I want to sort of chime in on what Jeff just said that, and, and there's nothing really to do with the, the process you went through, but it was so helpful to have that live streamed. Oh be able to go back and watch and then, oh wait, what did that one say? And then go and f try to find the, the location. And, and I think the all of us it on was the committee so, did you know, that. so helpful. I, and I gotta congratulate Jeff for all the work that he's done on bringing us into the 22nd century <laughs> yes. compared to what a lot of things have been in the past, the, but yeah. The view count, uh, last time I checked at the, at the, the summary meeting uh, was, Depending on the architect, between seventy-five and two hundred. Oh, so, yeah, that's yeah. Consi that's that's considerable. So oh, that's, 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 oh, this was going back and looking at it after it had been live streamed after the presentation. Well, that was would over. include that would include the people that um, I, I'm not exactly sure how the uh, the um, I forget the in the technical term for that. Kelson. But anyway, the, but I would presume that that would include the people. There were quite a few people. Brian, do you remember how many people were uh, watching it actually? Uh, at this simultaneous to its its mm -hmm. actual, thing. I, there there were people that were, were yeah. coming up for that. I I I remember about twenty four or twenty five. I think, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, teams, yeah. teams. So, so we had a constant yeah. a it's constant funny. audience for those two days, right. of <clears throat> twenty plus additional people, right as it was going on, and then over the course of time mm -hmm. up to two hundred for the. Yeah. And I think those have not lost their value. Oh no, they're and, they're out and, there, and and, 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 and you, know, I, you know, I know this is kind of a distraction from what it is, but it is. But thank you. It has been very helpful that person. I didn't have to come and sit here, and then rely on my memory for what somebody else had said. Exactly. I've got a record now, and and I'm I'm speaking strictly personal on this, but this is really great, and. I saw the process that you folks were going through when they were doing, each one of them was doing that presentation. And I know it was, I wouldn't want her to be standing up there and answering yeah, some for, of those for questions. For me, it was valuable because um, 
knowing it was going to be available for me. I didn't have to take as detailed a note, which meant I was able to give my full attention to what actually what I was seeing and, and, and hearing. Um, and I did go back and, and watched a couple of them um, um, to refresh my memory from the materials that they dropped off to, every, mm -hmm. to everything else. It's been a lot through our heads over the last month or so. We had at least one, at least one person I know of watched from Florida. <laughs> okay. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there may have been others. Okay. Um, does anyone else have immediate questions of Jan? Because this is a meeting, and I was going to ask if anyone in the audience had anything that they wished to say, add, um, discuss, or propose at this point. Uh, any, pro any objection to that? No? no? Does anyone wish to add any comments? Mr. Charbonneau, if you would please, you know, this is this is the new technology, and they need to be able to see you at home. So, okay, I just want to uh, add my voice of appreciation and gratitude for the work that the committee did. There's no doubt a lot went into it, but I also feel very encouraged and heartened. I think we're on the verge of really turning a corner here in this whole process, and we have really an opportunity to bring a lot of people around that corner and down a new road. I'm sure there'll be, as the uh, architectural firm gets more feedback, there'll be different opinions and maybe some disagreements. But what's encouraging to me is that this firm <clears throat> will not be taking an adversarial stance towards the town. Now, they will be trying to integrate and accommodate the underlying interests that people will be bringing uh, <coughs> to, to that conversation. So I am hopeful, and I really think that uh, you know, some, uh, uh, we're, we're on our way. I mean, again, th there may still be a few difficult conversations, but we're on our way. And so I just want to uh, say that I find that very uh, heartening and encouraging, and thank you. Thank you, Paul. Really appreciate that. Any, does anyone else wish to say anything? No? Oh. Ms. Cook? Sally Cook, I live in the village. Um, I learned incredible amounts from watching the presentations, and that was helpful. And uh, the process that the committee went through in choosing an architect, I could see was difficult for all of them, I mean, that between the two. Um, it, but it was fair, and, and I'm full of appreciation for how they did it, especially to you, Tracy. I, <laughs> you, you put in a huge amount of work and trouble to change your mind about the site, and I, I really appreciated that and respect it, and thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you, Sally. Does anyone else wish to say anything? So, with that, um, can I say one thing? That's you can say as subject. much as you want. No, you don't want to hear me. I said everything I, I need to say one day. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to echo one thing that Jan said about John Schultz. He was of immense help to us. Gave us a huge amount of his time. Uh, in not just the meetings we went to. But uh, I ran into him the grocery store this weekend after I had gone to four libraries, including his library, <laughs> and we spent too much time at the library. My husband actually left and took the ice cream home and came back to get me because John and I were talking uh, in, the, in the foyer of, of Hannaford. Um, but he has given of his time freely. He has given us so much professional information. He has not attempted to sway us. He has really worked to, to help us have the terminology we needed to be able mm -hmm. to talk to people, some of the mm -hmm. things that we should be on the lookout for. And one of the things he said to us after hearing all of these, uh, these um, presentations was, 
you know, don't fear a three-story library because, you know, that was something we talked about before. And he had built a three-story library, which is Belfast. Oh, yeah. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I talked to him over the weekend is I actually went up there, saw the library, drew some conclusions, and then was able to talk to him about that and talk to him very frankly about what I liked and what I didn't like and why. Um, but he was, he is invaluable. And if he finds the time to help us through the rest of this process, it is just, it, his help is immeasurable. Mm -hmm. It makes the process that much better. It informs any group that is working with him. And uh, will also, honestly, help any architect, help reading company that much more because the, the committee has the terminology mm -hmm. that can help move us through this. So I really think the, the town needs to do something very, very clear to thank him for the time he's already put in, in hopes that perhaps he'll continue to help us out because it, it, it's just, it makes a huge difference to have that kind of knowledge that none of us on this committee had. Mm -hmm. You'll get something too. You'll get something too. Turn it no, I, just I just want to say, I'm going down um, this week to meet with Reed so we get a first name basis and I can meet the other people. And I said to John, I'm going to go down to Reed. Do you want to come with? What have you got for time next week? And he immediately emailed back, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday are just fine. I'll even drive. So oh. John has <laughs> not stopped, and I don't foresee him ever stopping to be available to us. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite as intensely, but, but we are just very so valuable, lucky to very have valuable them. resource. Yes, yeah. yeah. you're right. You're very right. Mm -hmm. So you know, and I would hope that your members. You you indicated that many of your members would like to stay on for I this next so. stretch. Yeah, I this isn't. So. They're this invested. isn't the building part. This is still a planning part. Right. Um, and given all of the stress of all the meetings that they have been through, I, I could completely understand anyone who would want to step down at this point. No, but I, think, I hope I that they don't. I think what we want is um, clarity mm -hmm. about what, what you and the library committee would like for from us. Um, I don't know who has small children, who has other obligations, who foresaw this as through, the, through November, who thought about it as over, going over two or three years. But um, I know there are people there who now know an awful lot. There are people there who came in knowing an awful lot and that they can be very valuable to uh, whatever, whatever committee gets established in the, in the future. Yeah. I, I think that the original timeline that we had established still holds and that, that we do want to be able to take something to the voters in, the, yeah. in November, which really puts sort of an August time frame sure does. on this. So, right. you know. And there's a lot, there is a lot of work to be done between now and then, which we'll need help for. And that committee will need <clears throat> additional help. I mean, I, I, I see that committee having breaking up into some subcommittees where other people potentially can help step up and help in some other aspects and other areas of how do we how do we develop this how do we move it forward how do we get people excited about the idea how do we inform the public about the importance of the actions we are asking them to take in November those are important steps um, to making sure that because we have one shot at this I believe and and we we need to get this done and and it's a big it's a big job. I mean, something like this usually takes a couple of years. We're trying to do it in a, in a year, mm -hmm. um, but we we do have momentum on our side now. Finally, it's it seems like the the tide has shifted, and we have momentum on our side. Let's take advantage of it and and get this done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would yeah. comment. At, I, again, I hope the members of the committee would like to stay on. We are at a turning point I guess I think for, everybody everybody has bought in at for lack November. Of a better there's term. no doubt there's no I doubt about that suggest but. to this board that uh, to keep in mind that we did have a, a resignation in the committee early in the process and that if uh, anybody listening out there would want to join the process at this point that we could perhaps entertain appointing one or perhaps more additional members to the committee this would be a good time for somebody to jump in at this Juncture. I wouldn't mind seeing an additional person from the library because, committee. Because I wouldn't mind seeing an additional person from the community. All, all well and good. Yeah. But uh, that would allow then, if if we get to November and 
some members want to step step away. Perhaps somebody who comes in now might stay beyond November or something right. like yeah. that. So I would just offer that as a possibility. Okay. Yeah. Jeff? Uh, to build on what you're saying, perhaps this board and or uh, that board might identify an area of strength that you're looking for that perhaps you don't have at this point and to to cultivate someone who uh, could fill in any voids you see. Yeah, yeah. Just one final comment, and it's kind of referencing what Rick said about um, the the, the uh, compressed time frame that you all have been operating in. I, being somewhat new to this type of thing, was a little bit skeptical that you all would actually be able to do what you thought you would be able to do. A rump. Thoroughly impressed. <laughs> I mean, that's impressive that you got to this point. You whittled them down. You all did exactly what you said you were going to on the time frame that you set forward. And from the little bit that I've gathered about this and the more that I'll read over tonight and tomorrow, it seems like in that teeny amount of time, you all picked a great firm. So John's a taskmaster. Man, <laughs> props. Thank Congratulations. You. Well, hey, our meetings went two hours. We yeah. got tons of work done okay. every you all time. met at least yeah. once a week, right? No, we oh, did no. skip a couple every weeks. Other oh, week. okay. yeah. At the beginning of the week, and then it was every um, other week, two hours, no more. So in, in along, that, along those lines, we do need to be very thankful that Jan has not only chaired this committee, but the budget committee, because I know what the last two weeks have been like, and I know how many hours I've spent in meetings, and you're <clears> in <throat> most of most, them. Not having any Anything to do today until seven o'clock was weird. I have no meetings next week. I don't know what to do with myself. Yes. Yes. Well, Go to the spa. On, on Owen's comment. It's dedication. That's yeah. It is, it and this is an incredible and, and group. And a strong chairman. Yes. Uh, yes. Because I've, we've all been associated with committees that have strong chairmen and with committees that don't, and the difference in what gets mm -hmm. done is amazing. So yes. thank you, Jan, for thank your you. work. Well, and your team. And, but I would also add, thank you, Dory. Yeah. And Tom. <laughs> Yes, for uh, understanding why I you didn't see your spouses with, with Rick and with Jan in the last three weeks. <laughs> and, than I have and, with my husband. and Meg Barkley, throw Meg Barkley in there too. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. she's she's a phenomenal professional in her own right. Well, she is. Yeah, and if you know, if John was sick, I would have no hesitation to to take Meg anywhere, anytime. Mm. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will make a motion that we engage Reed and Company Architects of Portland to move forward with the design of a new library for Rockport. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, at this point, we have discussion. You should, you should add to, to um, instruct the manager to negotiate uh, an agreement with them. I can do that. You can do that. That's fine. Well, <laughs> I, um, I figured the word engage right, sort yeah. of encompassed all that. Um, I do want to make a comment. Um, I did go and visit uh, two of Reed's libraries this weekend. I went to four in total, um, but I went to Gray, which he did the last uh, renovation addition. Uh, there have been a couple. That's why uh, Gray appears in two sets of mm -hmm. RFQs. And I also went down to the New Cape Elizabeth Library um, Saturday afternoon and happened to, happened to run into Dick Reed, who was down there showing the building off to out-of-town company. And we didn't recognize each other. And <laughs> then he came back by and he said, you're from Rockport. And I said, you're the architect. <laughs> um, so I did get a chance to talk to him. And I, I can honestly say that did uh, cement my feeling about mm. the, the, the company. I really felt like in the, you know, I spent maybe five minutes with him walking around and talking about some things going on at, uh, in the, the, at Thomas Memorial. And I really felt like he was someone who could take our idea, tell us why it would work or wouldn't work, and would be good at guiding us through that process yeah, of saying, maybe this isn't the best way to do it. Here's ways I've done it in the past and how they might work for you. I really felt that he was a very collaborative uh, person. And that's a good feeling when you're thinking about working with somebody for a number of years over something where, you know, we're going to talk about light fixtures. We are going to talk about where to put walls, what, you know, what the bathrooms are going to look like. There's going to be a lot of decisions to make. And I really felt like he would be the, a good person to work with. And that was really, that was really helpful in cementing it because, you know, when somebody presents to you, you get an hour of their time. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, anybody can be a great performer for an hour of time. So I was, I was impressed. 
And like I said, that really cemented uh, the feelings I already had about what we'd seen. Um, so I feel I'm excited you're going to go down there and, and start to get to know him yeah. uh, and his team. Yeah. I think it's an exciting thing. Yeah. Okay. Owen? I just had one final thing, and I don't know who to direct this question to, but um, a lot of us come across citizens in our everyday lives, and I'm looking at their project schedule. Uh, I'm assuming we're all going to approve that Rick can engage in these contract negotiations, et cetera, et cetera. Can someone just paint a picture for me as far as what will be happening between now and, generally speaking, the August 1st date for final concept, schematic design, and cost estimate? Just so if someone stops me and they say, what's the latest on the library, what can I say? Okay. The, what, what we have are, are so far are the deadlines that the select board came up with, and that is, if I remember right, July 1st for a, a reasonably firm concept and cost estimate, and then August 1st or middle of August for a firmer uh, design concept and building cost estimates. My purpose in going down this week to meet with them is to find out what, uh, what do we need to do and how long do they think it will take? What's our engagement? How often are they going to come up? How often are we going to go there? How's that going to work? And so at the end of my meeting, I hope to be able to give the select board and the library committee a, a more accurate set of mini goals or goals for between now and the warrant. Mm -hmm not the construction documents or the checkoff list or punch list or anything like that, but what's happening between today and, and uh, November. Great. Thank you. Because okay. I'm curious. Questions or comments at this end before we go to a vote? <clears throat> All right. We have the motion on with the amendment to have the yeah. town manager to, oh, do we have somebody else who wants to comment? Uh, no, it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's trying to get out of here. Linda, did you get the part about Rick and, uh, having, and yeah. allowing Rick to go? Okay. The second approves yeah. the amendment. <laughs> okay. So we have the motion to approve the recommendation and to have uh, the town manager engage in negotiations on the price and, and whatnot. So with that said, all in favor? Great. It is a unanimous vote. Thank you thank all. You. Thank, thank you. And thank you, too. Thank um, you, Jim. Yeah. Both this, is, this is our Jeb Bush moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, before we adjourn, and it wasn't on, it's not on the agenda, but I wanted to point out that I've been doing some analysis of our April meeting <laughs> and come to the conclusion that if we don't split it into two sessions, we're going to be here until at least midnight. Um, this month set a record, and I don't want to try to uh, um, challenge that in any way. And I would, you know, I, I have proposed to everybody that we postpone the public hearing and our final votes on the bub on the budget and all the warrant articles until the Tuesday following our meeting, which would be April 19th. And I realize that this changes the schedule for the budget committee, because they were expecting to meet on the 12th, the Tuesday after we would meet, and we're going to have to push, you know, push them back on that. I have spoken to some people in the town office, and the final um, ballot doesn't have to be uh, sent to the pub, uh, printer until the, I think it's the 29th of April. So. You know, we're not running up or exceeding a deadline on anything at this point. I just want to remind yeah. people that that's spring break. Yes, that is during spring break. I know. Um, unfortunately. not be in Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> Nor will I be. <laughs> what about Fort Lauderdale? Nope, nope probably my lady. Jeff, Jeff, can, you, I ask, can I ask yeah. the chair why he didn't consider, or, or I'm sure you did consider, but, but you came to the conclusion that you didn't want to flip the two functions and do the budget first and then the ordinary stuff uh, two weeks after. Yeah, because over. we've already scheduled for some people to come in. Midco School of Technology is going to be here. We've asked the Parks, Parks Department to come in here. Fox on the Run uh, has come is asked to come in and renew their permit to use there. Uh, and there are several other items that we've already had on there, and I would rather not disrupt our normal meeting schedule. 
but this is something we should keep in uh, in mind because I'm thinking we're with all the work we're doing we're going to probably need to go back to the two meetings a month and you know we've been one meeting a month well quote one yeah, i'll right. put the qu Since big yeah. huge quote on one <laughs> 22 and a half hours last week <laughs> and we and i i personally thank you for that <laughs> I really do. You really probably should thank my husband because he hasn't had a meal in ages. <laughs> he just gave up cooking sure for him. Starved. My child okay. has just been making sandwiches. Uh, but yeah, I think we really need to consider. It's been like ten years. So moved since the Rockport. I think that's I a good thing. Has had yeah. two, you know, scheduled two meetings and. I think that's yeah. well. So okay, um, but I, I wanted to bring that up and make that noticed. For sure. Yes. Uh, so you know, it doesn't require a vote because I get to make the decisions on when we meet. <laughs> yeah, I've already said I'd rather have two shorter meetings than one longer. What is the second The 19th. The next week. It's the exactly. Tuesday of the next week. The 18th yeah. is a holiday, that's Patriot's Day, so we're meeting the next day. We'll be ahead of that. You'll just have to check and see if you've got anybody yeah. good that's gonna be gone for spring break. Yeah, I I don't know if anybody yeah. on your on the budget committee is, but yeah, uh, I know somebody's not going to be in town, but she's not going on spring break. Well, she is, but I wouldn't consider St. Lawrence County, New York, as spring break. Whatever uh, floats your boat. Anyway. Yeah, so I just wanted I I wanted to put that okay. out there, so we're what else do we aware need of that. Okay. Do we? Um, I, just, okay, yeah. I want to make a quick comment about the road acceptance ordinance issue. Um, This, this board uh, referred it to the Ordinance Review Committee at our last meeting. The Ordinance Review Committee spent a lot of time last week looking into it and, and made a recommendation. Yeah. And, um, their hope was to have that on the ballot in June, and I just, I'd like to see if there's some way that we can make that happen. Um, I've seen some people who have by said, including it in the next meeting. Uh, well, we have to. Have, we would have to have a public hearing on it. It would have mm -hmm. to be a public hearing with the other warrant articles. And it would have to go through the planning board as well. Correct. Um, and I think in order to have the public hearing, we probably would have to vote tonight to do that. I think for timing wise, or or sometime very soon in order to get it on a public hearing. Actually, I don't but, think it can hit the planning board. The planning board's already had their. There, I think their public hearing has already been put in the paper. Yes. So they, we can't add anything to theirs. So I don't know if there's enough time to get it in. I don't know when that would be. Here's my yeah. two cents. All I can think about is that nice gentleman talking about his daughter having to trudge through the snow to the school stop. So whatever it is that I need to do to help facilitate this process, I'll be there. Count well, me the in, please. Is that if we get the amend if the amendment goes on and and the, the ordinance review committee just so everybody knows did opt, opt to go for the grandfathering route rather than the change of the uh, thing mm -hmm. they want to still look at the change of the thing but they want to have more time to look at it uh, so that's what they are that's what they have recommended and the issue is that in order to get it that we'd have to vote on that in June and then the road would have to come up again for acceptance so it had to be voted by the town in November So if we don't put the ordinance change on in June Then it would have to go in November and then the road gets a approved next at the June. next like, So it does it. delay yeah. everything by about okay. six months for those who live in yeah. that area Mr. Chairman if you were to look towards the audience and ask if there are any questions There might be a question. Are there any questions about what? About uh, oh. putting it on this. Oh. Are you, are you, is this on your agenda tonight? No, it's no, not. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. It is not on our agenda tonight. This is just a general discussion. We will not be taking any votes on this because it hasn't been published as an item. Yes. Typical rules is yes, we could discuss and vote on anything because this is a meeting, but our policy has been that we do not vote we do not vote on things that aren't on our agenda we can take them under consideration but now i want to say that when we discussed and voted on this at our last meeting it was my impression that we were asking the ordinance review committee to add it to their over the summer process 
Uh, not no, to I, discuss I think, it immediately. I think we lit a, we lit a firecracker. I, I and I'm happy for that I think firecracker. The motion was, the motion was okay. with all due haste or something like that. I think you made the motion. Yeah, yeah. The I mean, I don't think the issue <clears throat> is whether or not we can hear it. I think it's whether or not we can get it on the planning board's uh, agenda <clears throat> in any sort of a timely manner. Mm. And I'm not seeing that because I think the planning board... No public hearing announcement has already been published yeah. or is ready to be published. Like we had to take the vote at our meet at our meeting so that the, right. that so notice could be, could be published on so, Tuesday morning right. because that was the only way we we're going to get it into the newspapers for general publication yeah, prior a, to this. Is there a different requirement because this is not a land use ordinance. Is there a different requirement for other ordinances? Uh, I don't know. These that, deadlines, I mean, as I say, that, make my well, head swim. That is a land use ordinance. Right. I mean, that's well, where it goes, is into land use. But it's not part of the land use ordinance. The road acceptance ordinance is separate. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I, and not, I think it was the select board that, that, and I wasn't on the select board at the time, that I think it was the select board that drafted and approved and put it on the warrant at the 2007. Yeah. For vote, but I wasn't on the select board at the time, and to be honest, I haven't gone back and looked at how that ordinance came about. Um, Livestream.com, Rockport, Maine, in the past. <clears throat> no, no, that won't work. <laughs> um, I, I, I am unfamiliar with the deadlines. That's, that's yeah. The, all the different deadlines, like I say, they make my head swim. Yeah, was there... What, couple questions I have. It, it, was there a quorum at the meeting, at the ORC meeting? Oh, yes. You know, there was a quorum. And it was okay. a unanimous vote. Well, after a fairly significant yep. discussion. Okay, a so long discussion. we're over that hurdle. Um, but the, you know, the timing of it and, um, you know, my, my gut is that it, whether it's a land use ordinance or non-land use ordinance, Maybe a subtle difference, but it still needs to be on the hearing schedule. You know, it still needs a public hearing. It's an ordinance. Right. My question is the timing of the public hearing. I think mm -hmm. if I'm, I, I again, I, I profess well, we ignorance. Well, we can curtail this pretty yeah. quickly, if, if indeed. So, if this question that we're asking right now was on the docket for the next normal meeting, which is Would April 11th, April 11th. Okay. it's all At, whether or not you do planning board. Well, we can ask the planning board to have two, two hearings. That's not If hard. there's time. It's, it's the timing. Well, that's, that's, the what, timing that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. So, um, well, Mr. Chairman, I would say let us, let us A, do our, our research on the head swimming timing things, and then um, if there is that possibility, then we'll have it put it on the agenda for the April 11th meeting, and we will have between now and then to warn the – um, the planning board that will be asking them to have a, a second public hearing and um, proceed with this since we did ask the ORC to light a fire under it and it would be kind of silly for us to, if it were possible, with the, with the statutory uh, timings, to uh, um, it would be silly not okay. to honor their work. Similar props yeah. to the ORC for taking it up so quickly, having a robust debate and coming to a consensus of sorts. That's mm -hmm. great. There, uh, what's the notice requirement for the select board to hold a public hearing? Do we, does anybody it's the same as for the plan. It's, it's, it's any, no, paper, any public see, hearing. It has to go to the planning board before yeah. it comes to us because mm -hmm. they have to have the opportunity to update it or change it as they mm -hmm. see fit right, right. before it comes to us. I just wondered if we could notice the public hearing April 11th and then hold the public hearing on the 19th. If there's enough time in there or not. It well, see, they would have to have their planning. take at yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And it ta and it has to be put in the paper, like yeah. seven days before or something. Well, it has to appear has seven to appear days, before, seven days before, before, which because which they're published on Wednesdays, right. well, that's another actually, week. that's another point that's been brought up to me on a few <coughs> different occasions is that the legal requirement is that it be published in a newspaper of general circulation. The Bangor Daily is a newspaper of general circulation in the area, from. and that, that would suffice, mm -hmm. which gets us out of that, that trap of, of the only local paper, quote, local paper being a weekly paper. Um, and we can provide plenty of notice online and things like that. So. Start going to print. I, yeah, we'll, we'll have to look I into that. there are this. other issues with that, too. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to uh, deal, delve into this. And we can 
report back at our April 11th meeting, we don't have anything scheduled for a select board meeting before then. Okay. We, Brighter minds than um, mine. Well, not, well, not select board meeting, but April the 4th is, is Midco Solid Waste. Yes, but that is a, a meeting of Midco Solid Waste to which all the, the select, select boards, boards of the four invited. towns have been invited. It's not our meeting. Right. So. Well, let's get okay. it on the agenda on the 11th and see what we can do. Okay. I just wanted to bring it up because the ORC did work hard on it. And, and thank you for doing that, Ken. I think they, uh, it deserves to be heard. Okay. Then I would inter Do we have anything else we want to just toss around? Move to adjourn. Yeah, thank you. Uh, do we have a second? Second. All in favor? I and mean, nobody wanted to stick around on this one. I sent Rick Only something today. Only 15 hours this week. And I don't know if he's going to forward it to you all.